Hey guys, Steve here from Bloom Audio. Today, uh, we're not really gonna do a review. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about Burson Audio and some of the products that they have. Uh, they have a lot of products and some of the naming and other things can be a little bit confusing. So we thought we'd put this resource out there to help people who are shopping for a new DAC or amp. So Burson has been in the business for about 20 years but they made a headway a little more recently with the introduction of their max current power supply technology, which is basically a, a way that they're able to produce a lot of power in a smaller form factor. Uh, but currently they have a range of amps, DACs, DAC amp combos that have really been popular for us at Bloom. So we thought we'd take some time to go over their product line and help familiarize everybody with it. Burson's designs have a, have a distinct look, um, and most of the products share a few key features that help give them the, the look and also sort of set a, a, a design standard uh, that Burson has. So the most obvious of these is probably the cool case, which is the, you know, the metal case on this is not just for looks and the design with the, uh, the sort of metal ribbing here is actually the entire case is a heat sink also. So it's designed to help dissipate the heat generated by the operation of the amp. Um, another thing is, you know, you've got these sort of big and they're slightly tactile volume knobs that are on every unit and uh, an LED screen that displays the volume, uh, which channel you're using, another thing that's on, I think virtually every unit, except for the funk, which doesn't have a screen. So, you know, you put all these together and you get a, a really good uh, uniform look across all the product lines. So Burson has three basic uh, product series, product lines that make up their lineup of, of DACs and amps. So at the bottom, you've got the party series. This is sort of your gateway into Burson. So each line shares the same form factor and case essentially. So this is the Playmate 2, which is part of the party series. So these are the smallest units. As you can see, they're not quite pocket size, but they're, uh, you know, fairly small for a desktop item. Uh, so the, uh, the Playmate 2 and the Funk are the two amps in the Party Series, where this is a DAC amp combo and the Funk is just an amp. Um, so, you know, the Playmate is, is putting out a good amount of power. It's got 3 watts at 16 ohms, uh, which is pretty solid for, a, you know, a, a desktop unit in that price range and that size. The Funk uh, has the same amp for headphones, but it also has a class AB 45 watt amp for speakers. So the idea, you know, the Playmate is sort of your standard, uh, you know, DAC amp combo. The Funk is designed for situations where you might have a, um, you might want to switch between headphones or speakers. I know I used to have a home office and, you know, when people were home, I had the headphones on when I was the only one home, I ran the speakers. So basically for a setup like that, to give you convenience to switch between headphones and speakers uh, with one unit. Moving up from the party series, let's move this over here, we get the performance series. So the performance series has a few more options. There's uh, nothing quite as, you know, kind of fun and different as the, the funk right now. And in the performance series, you've got three essential products and then one with a couple different versions. So we've got the conductor. The conductor is the DAC and amp combo, both in the performance series and in the reference series. Then we have the soloist, which is a standalone amp, and the composer, which is a standalone DAC. Now in these names, so this is actually the conductor, it's conductor three, same with the composer three, soloist three. And then in these names, there's also the X or maybe there's not an X. So the conductor three 
no X, is the single-ended DAC and amp. The conductor 3X is the balanced DAC and amp. Uh, so now while, while the balanced versions, you'll see this is the balanced version of the reference, have both you know, the 6.3 millimeter and the XLR on the front, they only have XLR on the back. So you just need to be careful when you're shopping for Burson products that you get the right one. If you need the RCA on the back, make sure you go with the single-ended version. If you need the XLR on the back, make sure you go with the X version. So one kind of exception to that, the composer and soloist, the composer has RCA and XLR outputs on it and the soloist has RCA input so you can use that with a single-ended DAC but it only has XLR output so if you're using it as a preamp it would need to be with a balanced amp. All right so we've talked about the party series we've talked about the performance series now we can talk about the reference series. We've got two products uh, from Burson's reference series and that is the Conductor 3 reference and the Conductor 3X reference. So what's the difference there? If we've been paying attention, the X indicates the fully balanced version, whereas the just regular Conductor 3 reference is unbalanced. So now what's the difference between the performance and the reference? So again, we've got the uh, two, the, the dual DAC configuration in the reference versus the single in the performance. Uh, we have a higher level of output powder, powder, power in the reference versus the performance. And another feature that adds some flexibility is in the reference here, you one, you have uh, more input output options total uh, you know, so you can have, you know, connected to two different things for input or, or output of various versus one. And you have the ability to use analog input and output. So the reference series can be used as a standalone DAC, a standalone amp, or as a DAC and amp combo, where the performance series can be used either only as a DAC and amp combo or a standalone DAC. It only has uh, digital input. There's no analog input to use it as a standalone amp. So while some descriptions and marketing might give you the impression that, you know, the Burson's products are these sort of uh, vintage, powerful, rugged, no frills amps for you to use out on the Australian outback. Um, while they're, you know, quite rugged and sturdy, they actually do have some, some frills to them. And I'm not just talking about the case design. So like we talked about before, uh, the LED screen is, is one thing that not everything in this class has. Uh, and it's really makes it easy to configure things like your, you know, your DAC filters and uh, just being able to see the volume and not being relying on the color of the knob or the position, you know, a little paint stripe that might wear off or something like that uh, is actually, you know, a big convenience feature on that. So everything from the performance series on up gets a remote and I'm pretty sure you can get a remote separately for the Playmate even. So, you know, you have the remote there. Um, and with the exception of the Soloist, uh, because it doesn't have any digital input, Everything from performance series on up has Bluetooth input. So it's essentially not just a DAC and amp combo, it's a DAC amp streamer combo. And everything except for the composer, which has no headphone input, has a pass through for your headphone mic and they come with a little ad adapter to help you accomplish this. So if you're using this hooked up to a computer and you also, you know, in a use that to take uh, voice calls or other things. You don't have to worry about messing with different um, inputs and outputs to switch from listening to music to taking a voice call or, you know, online gaming 
where you need to be on voice chat or that sort of thing, Discord, whatever you're using, uh, all works together pretty seamlessly. So when you put this all together, uh, you really, you get a good balance and blend between this sort of raw power with a vintage aesthetic and a high level of modern convenience. So, well, there's a lot of great stuff about the whole Versa lineup. I just want to call out a few standouts, my personal picks from the lineup. So the first one we've got right here is the Playmate 2. So at $544, um, it's about half the price of the next item up in the lineup. And honestly, it's just a, you know, an all around great uh, DAC and AMP combo in that price range. You know, it's using the same DAC that you're going to get in the more expensive models. The amplification is not of the same level, uh, but you even have the flexibility to upgrade that with better op amps that really uh, improve it and, and kind of bump it up a tier where I think the Playmate is a great option in that price range. The other one, which we don't have in this little stack here, is the Soloist 3X Performance. Um, the Soloist 3X Performance at uh, 1144 uh, is just a great all around headphone amp, uh, tons of power. It's actually, it's the highest power output in the Burson lineup. At 16 ohms, it's putting out half a watt more than even the 3X Reference. So you get a ton of power and it's great for setting up with something like a, um, a high-end DAP where if you say you've got a, um, I don't know, say an SP2000 and it's just not, doesn't have enough juice to drive something like a Sosfaro or an LCD4 the way that you want to drive it to really get that low-end slam, you can take advantage of the high-end, uh, you know, incredibly well-tuned DACs that Astle and Kern has in there, running it into the line out, or running the line out into the Soloist, so you can take advantage of the full power of that in your, with, you know, com with that kind of combination is, is one way I like to use the Soloist uh, personally in the office. So my other recommendation is the big daddy of them all, the Conductor 3X Reference. It's just basically got it all, you know, you know, Bluetooth, it's got the dual DAC, uh, it's got the power, it's got the XO, you know, balance, it's got the unbalance, it's got everything that, uh, that basically you need, and it sounds great. So it's just a really a top pick. So if you're in the market for a headphone amp or DAC, Burson has options ranging from, you know, in the $500 range to over $2,000 for the, uh, the 3X reference. So there's probably something that'll work for you. So definitely check out Burson. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can check out Burson's product line at bloomaudio.com. And uh, you can also check out the guide we just put up that's got a lot of the same information uh, and that's in this video in text form, you know, with also some helpful charts for easier comparison. And we'll be back soon with more high five personal audio content.